up, people? Welcome to Third Eye Visions. My name is Anthony Park. I want to talk to you about something. First of all, if this is your first time, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can get updates on the stuff that I be posting. I know that's grammatically incorrect, but we're not in English class. Um, also, make sure you hit the like button, make sure to share and make sure to comment because I need the analytics to grab this and make sure and push it out further. <clears throat> blind people are more sensitive. Now, me as a blind person, I should be the number one individual to tell you why or how or when anything related to blindness. Uh, I should be the uh, individual to tell you more so because I am totally blind. That's for those who don't nizzle. You know what I'm talking? Biz out. But look, I want to talk to you about this subject, and it's really true and dear to Mar because I'm noticing a lot of things about blind people. So get your coffee, get your beer, get your drinks, get your whatever you have, and sit down and relax for about maybe one, two, three, four, five minutes, and allow me to uh, talk about this particular subject about uh, blind people being very sensitive, more sensitive. Why? Uh, what? What? What prompted them, or what's the reason why? Um, of course. Um, in my studies of uh, blindness, blind people, and uh, studying other individuals who are blind, I noticed that some of us, and, you know, I'm blind, so I'm say some of us are very sensitive. Um, a lot of individuals who are totally blind have been uh, accustomed to hearing the word yes or patting you on the back for uh, uh, any little thing that you do. Uh, I'm not that type of person. I have not, I have never been raised in that capacity. Uh, I've always worked hard, worked hard for whatever I wanted to achieve. And I've done a lot of things in my life. I'm an OG. So I've, I've done a lot of things. So um, I never looked for any type of affirmations or anything like that. But the, um, excuse me, I had a little water before I talk. The uh, blind people of today, they get very offended when you say things that they or will you disagree with them because they always they a lot of them think that whatever they do is always going to be accepted and that's not the case and you know what that's that strictly comes from uh parenting uh it it, it, it cradles a lot of these blind people puts it puts them in a situation by themselves or world all to themselves and allows them to think that whatever they do is going to be accepted it's going to be good uh i received an uh uh a little kickback from something that I uh, post. Well, I didn't post, but I, I responded on Facebook about a, a, a person. Uh, she was singing, and I didn't like it. And I posted something, you know, to the effect of uh, I don't understand or I'm not fine with it. And they, you know, that was a comment that kind of offended them in a sense. But that's just, you know, one little scenario that I want to want to point out. There, there are many that come to mind, but that one sticks in my mind because it just happened today. But I just want to let people know, parents, do not do that. I mean, if your kid does bad uh, and you feel just, uh, let's take for instance, if a, if your kid who is totally blind uh, does does something that you know that as a sighted person, they wouldn't receive the same response, tell them, look, you need to work on this, this, and that, and, and the third, because the world is not going to treat them the same way that you treat them when they get out in, in, into that, that real world, it's going to be a whole different aspect. And that's why I thank my mom and dad. That's why I thank the people around me for showing me that, hey, this is real deal, Holyfield. I mean, if you can't do certain situations, if you are not good at certain situations as a blind person, first of all, I'm not going to pat you on the back. Um, not only does that, 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 uh, that's created by this this sort of behavior is, or is created by individuals um, in, the, in the home, such as the parents, but even in the schools and things like that. Teachers, any type of mentorship that, that, that these kids come in contact with, you, you're, you're going to have to be uh, strong and, and, and tell these individuals, tell these persons that, hey, if, if it's wrong, it's wrong. If it's not good, it's not good. Because if you can accept the yes, then you can accept the no. And that's the way that I deal. I'm a harsh person. I'm up front. I call a spade a spade. Now, that comes from parenting. And I'm glad that I've learned from my my, my uh, mom and uh, dad. And I just want to share this, uh, this, this, this information. 
because for blind people, just because you're blind, everything that you do, that is not, uh, uh, um, a lot of people are not going to accept what you do. They're going to be, that are go there are going to be some no's. There are going to be some negativity in your life. Everything is not going to be a positive. Anything that you put out, especially in the YouTube street, because they think that everything they put out, people are going to accept it. No, I'm not that type of person. And I'm quite sure there are a lot of individuals who are afraid to, to tell you that. And I wanted to just come on and share this because a lot of blind people are, man, they do, they really do get offended when you tell them something uh, contrary to what they feel is, is, is right. If they feel that they can uh, uh, play the piano and they're, they're not good at it and you compliment them, all you're doing is crutching these, in, these individuals. You are giving them a crutch to lean on. You are hindering these in, individuals. And I'm not saying just to be harsh, but I mean you have to understand that you have to you have to take it upon yourself to say, well, hey, this is my child. I do not want, even though it's my child, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give him false hope that he's a good flute player or he's a good uh, track star or whatever the case may be. There are faults uh, amongst blind people. There are faults amongst sighted people. But right now, I'm speaking to you, blind people, and let to let you know that everything, if it, if it's not good in my hood, I'm gonna tell you. So. Um, just be aware from here on out, parents, if you, uh, um, are, are, are doing this to your, your, your blind kids and then not only just uh, blind, any type of physical or, or impairment that, that, that your child may have, stop saying things are good when they're really not stop being afraid to hurt their feelings because believe me, I'm never going to be that. And I was never that person to. I used to wrestle, I used to run track, I used to be in the music, uh, I used to be a musician, all that stuff. And when my stuff was garbage, they let me know. When I was not good, uh, they let me know. And I'm glad that, that you know, especially the school that I had gone to, you know, they uh, they were very strict about a lot of situations that I was involved with. And they helped, they helped me become a, a, the man that I am. And they, when things were not good for me, they told me what I need to work on better. They told me. So I just wanted to come because I just had a uh, an, an individual felt that whatever I posted was, uh, you know, offensive or they didn't like the fact that I said no, that I didn't like the way they sang. It was garbage. Work on it. Then if you do something well, I'm going to comment on you. I'm going to give you the props. So I just wanted to come on and say that I know I probably stumbled over a lot of things, but you know, I, I, this is very, I'm very emotional and passionate about this situation. Stop hindering these blind people. Stop telling them that they're good when they ain't, because believe me, when they get in the real world, they're going to get a real rude awakening and they ain't going to know how to deal with it. Okay. So this is Anthony from Third Eye Visions. I'm signing off and I hope that you take heed to what I'm saying.